Well, hi guys. It is Sunday before the 4th of July week. And today we are getting things ready because we have family coming in town. We're gonna cook some good barbecue, some good sides, you know, maybe a seafood boil. We shall see. And SJ is trying to talk to y'all. Let's see if you can see her. We have family coming? Yeah. Yeah. You tell everybody hi? Hi. <laughs> and today I am really excited because Nico has no idea. But we have a special family member coming in town that should be here shortly. They landed at 1 p.m. Um, and I'm going to see if I can catch his reaction on camera because Nico is pretty stoic. But I think that for this person, he's going to smile. So I'm excited. Um, and we got baby Pharaoh here. Look at him. <laughs> Y'all, he's he's getting so big. So serious. But um, right now, Nico is cutting the grass. And my brother is here. And Bree. And he is helping him. He's going to weed eat. Egypt is dancing right there. I don't know if y'all can see her. Show him your moves, girl. <laughs> um, but they're doing getting the lawn ready this week we shouldn't have any rain so i'm super excited about that because that means the grass is gonna last a little bit longer but it looks really good so i'm gonna take y'all out there show y'all what nico's working on and show y'all a little bit of footage of my brother and then we have a couple other things planned later so we'll see so look who else decided to join us on the porch miss Eja rose hi <laughs> ashley what are you eating she dropped half of her banana y'all so she's kind of sad. Are you sad? We'll get you another one. Finish eating that one though. I'm so close to touching the roof. You are, I think. Look, look how high Egypt swings now. Me. Girl, you've been walking in the, in the grass. I can see your feet. <laughs> this is one of their favorite hangout spots that Nico built for them. Right when we moved. I think this was one of his first projects, honey. Huh, the swings. Oh, my God. You almost That's got the so ceiling? Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Get a little too And Achilles is hanging out with us. She gave him a fallen banana, but I don't think he wants it. He's not going to eat that. He doesn't like bananas. <laughs> told me they got some pools in right there at the Walmart so we're gonna go see if we can get Frankie a pool today Fun 
part when your wife wants a white house. <laughs> It's hot, y'all. <laughs> so when I was coming outside, Egypt was like, Mom, I'll come with you. And it's a hot day today. Y'all saw the sky. It's clear, beautiful, um, really hot. I know the guys are hot. I've only been out here a fraction of the time they've been out here because I've been with the kids. It's hot. Um, but I told her no because she was reading her book and she's trying to get through the first book of her, the collection she got for her birthday and SJ's taking a nap. And this is the perfect time for Egypt to get through that book because y'all see how much SJ loves Egypt on camera? Y'all, off camera, like times 10. She loves her big sister. Um, so I was like, while she's taking a nap, take advantage of this, read your book, be a kid, we got it. We'll go take care of this stuff today. Um, let her relax a little bit. I think it's good for her to have some time for just Egypt, um, even though she's a big sister. So we all need a break sometimes. Um, but now that I'm in the barn, I do want to give y'all an update on Caramel. So you can see her back here. And I was able to get in touch with a vet, um, the one that was on vacation. She emailed me, she said, hey, I'm back. Um, reached out to me, so I gave her a call. We're playing full tag for a little while. <laughs> um, but today, while y'all are watching this, um, she will be here at 5 p.m. today to look at Esther and Caramel. Um, for Esther, we're gonna just get the surgery scheduled out for her if they can't do it, um, depending on how many emergencies they have. Um, but then for Caramel, I still want her to come and check, um, even though we have the spin on the leg, just to be safe. Um, so then we should be giving y'all an update soon. But I was excited that she was able to come as soon as she can, especially because she came recommended and she has a big customer base here. Um, everyone gave her raving reviews. Um, so super excited. All right, y'all, so as you've seen in the footage, been out here all day cutting the yard. Um, I also did some cutting over here in the pasture the boys are in. Um, you can see in here I've cut down Frankie's pen as well. This grass was extremely high as y'all know. Um, with the girls being back there in that pen uh, or in that pasture that they're in rather, um, there was no need for me to keep this high. So went ahead and cut it. I'm not wearing my microphone, so forgive me if you can't hear me. Uh, my brother-in-law's over there. He's finishing up the weed eating and stuff, uh, which I really appreciate. But many of you have pointed out um, how the goslings could get out of this enclosure, which once again, we plan on moving this enclosure around Frankie's uh, pen until they're old enough to be able to just be out. And the fencing that's in this pen, they can't get through at all. So once they're of age and Frankie's not worried about them, we're just gonna let them do their thing. But now I'm gonna go ahead and put up this chicken wire around the entire perimeter. And that should allow us to go ahead and let them out. You have the gate opener? Oh, open the gate. That's the kind of decision you want to follow the hole. It's Tony Kinsey. No, it's not. Shut up. Oh, in that car? Yeah. Who's driving? It's him. Well, oh, who's driving? He's driving. <laughs> well y'all I have my microphone now and quick intermission so 
when I first started that project, there was a car creeping up the road and then it stopped at our gate. Well, first of all, where we live, you can't find our road on accident. So if you turn down our road, it's either on purpose or you're lost. And then they stopped at our gate and there's that car that you could see right there. And they were just parked there for like two minutes. And then I finally asked Natalie, like, who's that at our gate? And she's like, I don't know, just open the gate. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all, I kind of started fussing at her like, you don't just open the gate for strangers. Like, what are you doing? You can't, that's not the right decision to make in this circumstance. So then she finally tells me that it's my dad who came to surprise me. So I'm not sure if he wants to be on camera though, y'all. So um, if he does want to be on camera, then obviously, you know, we'll uh, put him on camera. We'll do some filming, but man, I'm so glad he's here because I, I have a project. <laughs> But obviously that project won't be in this video um, and it may actually be a series if we can actually execute it. But let's go ahead and finish this uh, project that I currently have going. So I'm gonna put y'all back into time-lapse and uh, we'll knock this out so we can let the Goslings out to have a little fun today. Well guys, look who joined us. It's hot, honey. It's really hot. I'm sweating, y'all. Um, so now, what are we gonna do, Egypt? Yep, so we're gonna check what for them? Water, food. And we're gonna do a test run. Dad's almost done adding the berry on the inside. You think it's gonna hold them in now? Yeah, that first time was funny when they got out, huh? <laughs> we didn't record it though. What were you looking like? What were you trying to do when they got out? They were reacting so much for fun to do that. I was so nervous, y'all. All right, you just put in their water in, y'all. Giving them fresh water. There we go. Let's put it, scoot it all the way in the corner. It's where it's like in the corner. Perfect, okay. And yeah, you could go ahead and let them out. All right, y'all, so Egypt's cleaning out their water. I cut grass today, as y'all know, so clippings got into the water. So cleaning this out for them. And they haven't discovered this water over here yet because it's their first time getting out, so. <laughs> we have one that's stuck behind the door, like, wait, how do I get to the other side? <laughs> here, let me help them out. <laughs> That's so cute. So this one's over here, has water all to itself. And those two over there are still in the house. Mama went, Mama just went to go get a bucket of water so we could pour it in here for them and get the grass out of there. So we're about to fill that with water for them. They have all this grass. They still have feed back there. So yeah. We'll let them out for the rest of the day now that they can't get out. And we're just gonna do this every day until we move them to a new section. And once again, with the chicken wire on there now, they won't be able to get out, so. What do you think of that plan, Egypt? It's a good plan? Yeah. Oh, one came out like, hey, what are you doing over here? What have you, oh, oh, they found it. <laughs> 
said, you can't have all of this to yourself. All right, y'all, there goes mama right there with the bucket of water. And we're just gonna pour it in there. There we go. Looking good. So they have three water sources, one behind Egypt, two and three, food and food. <laughs> so I think they're gonna be good. So Egypt's gonna get one of them and actually sit them in the water to see what happens. <laughs> it's like, no, what was that? <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> She's like, no, what was that? But once they figure it out and they get in there on their own, not because we like put them in there, I'll definitely try to capture that for y'all. Y'all, it happened. We have one in the water, got in there all by itself. And look at these two. <laughs> they saw it in the water. <laughs> oh my God, the energy. So cute. All of them have had a turn in the pool so far. And yes, at their current size, we're gonna call that a pool. <laughs> it's really a feeding dish. Eventually, they'll graduate up to that one right there. And remember, we're still on the market for the ones that look like that, but are like four times that size. One for Frankie, one for Zeus. So, yeah. And none of these babies have names yet. We, uh, we, we need to sex them. And then obviously that will give us what we need to go from there. But yeah, they are officially out and about. And normally when I turn this way, y'all are used to seeing the girls, but look who's over here now. As y'all know in the, in the previous video, we rotated the goats. So right here, I have the very, very, very handsome peanut butter enjoying some food. And over further away on the fence line, on the left, we have our fainting buck, Oreo. On the right, we have our Kiko buck, Mike. And Mike is registered, y'all. Peanut butter is not. So peanut butter is what we call our commercial line. His kids are commercial. Obviously, Mike's kids are registered. My brother-in-law, Jared, is in here doing his thing, y'all. Weed eating around Frankie's house. Y'all see that? He's hooking Frankie up. Weed eating around her house. Getting all the tall things knocked down. We have Frankie over here. Like, man, can y'all hurry up and get out of here? <laughs> All right, y'all can see Frankie's food is nice and full. So she's good to go. Her water's good. Going to scoop out all the grass clippings that just went in there, though. Clean it out. Now, Frankie, I just feel like you should know that the baby goslings are over there, and they're in the water, and they're on the loose. So you might need to referee, because I don't know if all three could fit in their pool currently but just referee for us make sure no fights break out you got to break up the fights okay one day they may have to graduate to your old pool yeah we're about to get you a new one but can you do that for me frankie let's go ahead and get this hung maybe this looks uh familiar to some of you all right let's go So this is what we have, really sturdy, hanging from right there. Now I just have to find a flower to put in there, but I like it. And I put it on this end to add some color on this end to balance 
this beautiful blooming, just bright, hot pink crepe myrtle bush have some color right there. So they'll kind of, you know, play off of each other. And then the tree over there is starting to bloom as well. So yeah, Jocelyn Egypt has her food. She's about to go feed the goats and do her chores. Her evening chores, if you're new here, are feeding the feeding the boy goats, feeding the girl goats, feeding Frankie, and putting up Zeus. And when she gets in the house, her chores are making sure um, her rabbits are good, and that her uh, what is it, guinea pig chocolate, is good as well. So, what I typically do is I'll feed the cows, I'll feed Bo. Um, actually, Frankie's my chore, I take that back. I feed Frankie, um, and we kind of take turns with the peacocks. So what she's about to do right now, y'all, is feed the boys, because remember, they're the ones in here in this pasture now with Goatopia. All right, so she's pouring their food on the swing. And they're still getting used to this routine, but they're catching on pretty well. Good job, Egypt Rose. And here they come. So y'all see we have Oreo, who is catching on to the routine first. So he's trying to rush and get over before the other two come bumping out, bump him out the way. But peanut butter is hot on his trail. You better hurry up, Oreo. You had a head start. Peanut butter starting to get a little gallop on. How much was this, Egypt? A scoop and a half. A scoop and a half, yeah. And then here comes Mike. He's like, uh-uh. So Oreo moved out the way. Well, you got a little bit going, Oreo, before uh, Mike got in there. Okay. And you can see Zeus right there and all the girls on the fence line. About to feed them next. You keep an eye on those goslings over there? That was our deal. Oh, oh, you're about to lay down. I know you want some loving. Random trash in the yard is a no-go. Put it over here in our old burn pit that we're gonna burn down one last time and take care of. All right, so Egypt's heading back there to the girls. Woo, the girls catch on fast, y'all. <laughs> And look at uh, Leroy and Esther. I'm about to give y'all some food too, another 50 pounds. So after she feeds the girls, she goes ahead and gets Zeus and takes him to his house where we've already prefer, uh, prepared his water. And y'all know he free feeds. And look at this, y'all. <laughs> really hopped up in there. So who do we have in there? Well, I'm pretty sure most of you could have guessed. Carol. And then we have Peaches. Peaches hopped up in there. Crazy. <laughs> Spirit, come get you some, girl. Come get you some. All right. So look how big, y'all. And as Natalie mentioned, we are waiting on the vet. The vet thought she would be able to get out here today. But apparently one of her emergencies was truly an emergency, but psh, Esther's not missing a meal, neither is Leroy. But fly check, look at this, y'all. So crazy. Just slim, pack full of flies. And you can see there's some in there that or just got caught in there. So there's, I mean, it's doing its job. It feels like we're in a losing battle because <laughs> flies are that bad this year. But hey, every fly that's caught, is one less fly that's uh, flying around the property. So I would say that's worth it. Look at Leroy, y'all. Look, he can't quite fit in there all the way anymore. As predicted, I said about two weeks, and that was two weeks ago. So let me give them some more feed.
all right y'all so we've taken care of all of the animals egypt came over here and she did um, not, not only take care of zeus like we said and he's over in his cage right there so not it not only did she come over and take care of zeus and you can see the boys are done eating but she came over here and took care of elvis and priscilla as well let me show you so they've already had their fun but elvis is up top on the swinging roost living his best life oh and there goes priscilla as y'all can see so they've already finished their millworms as most of you know over in this part of graceland is where we typically put their snacks so oh he just flew off of there he wanted to be next to priscilla <laughs> So they've had their snacks and now they're just chilling. How beautiful is that, y'all? So I'm gonna go grab my uh, father. Well, he's technically my stepfather. So if you've been on this channel for a while, you know that my biological father was here not long after Farrell was born. So the gentleman that's in town now is my stepfather. And uh, he actually raised me uh, from two years old that's when him and my mom uh, met i'm going to see if he wants to get out and help me with uh with the cows and bow if you see him on camera that means he said yes if you see me move on to that chore that means he's still being shy <laughs> and uh my stepbrother is uh in town as well his name is jabari so they both flew in from san antonio as y'all know that's where i'm from they flew in from san antonio and it was a very, very, very pleasant surprise. So excited that they're here. Natalie asked me to take these days off for work. And normally June is my heavy month of like request off. So when she was asking me to take days off in July, it kind of caught me off guard, but now I know why. All right, y'all, so Bo has his dinner for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the cows which should ensure that WB here doesn't mess with them or try to take Bo's food. Come on, WB. Come on, Coco. Come on, girl. She's so pretty, y'all. Oh, I see you, Dandy and Tiny. <laughs> 